effects of changes in demand and supply on equilibrium price part 2 this series will be published in eight parts viewers are requested to view all the eight parts to get the full benefit in this lesson also demand remains unchanged but supply is going to decrease we are going to analyze its effect on equilibrium price and quantity under three heads. 1. Demand is elastic and supply decreases. To begin with, the market is in equilibrium at E1, where demand curve DD cuts supply curve SS. The price is P1. The quantity is M2. The supply decreases due to an increase in the price of raw materials. The new supply curve is S0, S0. The supply curve shifts to left. The immediate effect is there arises a deficient supply condition to the tune of E1, E0. The sellers are willing to supply only E0 units at price P1. But the consumers want to buy E1 units. There is a heavy competition among buyers. This pushes up the price along the demand curve DD. As the price moves up, the producers also move up along the supply curve S0, S0. At last, a new equilibrium is reached at E2 where DD cuts new supply curve S0, S0. The new price is P2. The new equilibrium quantity is M1. The net result is the price increases from P1 to P2. The quantity decreases from M2 to M1. The impact of decrease in supply is partly absorbed by price and partly by quantity. 2. Demand is perfectly elastic and supply decreases. The demand is perfectly elastic, hence the curve is horizontal and parallel to x-axis. The market is in equilibrium at E1, where both the demand curve PD and supply curve SS cut each other. With a decrease in supply, the curve SS moves to the left and takes a position at S0, S0. The new supply curve cuts the demand curve at point E2. This is the new equilibrium point. The consumers buy M1 units. This is less than M2. Since the demand is perfectly elastic, the buyers are happy with what is supplied in the market. The price remains at P. The net result is supply falls from M2 to M1. The price remains at P. It doesn't change. The impact of decrease in supply is fully absorbed by the quantity. 3. Demand is perfectly inelastic and supply decreases. Market demand curve MD is perfectly inelastic. Hence, the demand curve is vertical and parallel to y-axis. The supply curve SS cuts the demand curve MD at E1. The equilibrium price is P1 and the quantity is M. After a fall in supply, the new supply curve S0, S0 is formed to the left of SS. The immediate effect is there is a deficiency in supply to the extent of E0, E1. The sellers are willing to sell only E0 units at price P1. But the consumers want to consume E1 units. The competition among the buyers pushes up the price along the demand curve MD. As the price goes up, the sellers also go up along the supply curve S0, S0. Finally, a new equilibrium is reached at E2. 
the new price is P2. This is higher than P1. The net result is increase in price and no change in quantity. The full impact of decrease in supply is taken care of by the price. Okay, we shall meet again in part 3.